Hi friends, in this video let's talk about how to find out the nth highest salary in the SQL by using subqueries. So the other way is you can easily identify the nth highest salary using CTE as well. But in the other video we already talked about that. Now in this video let's talk about how to identify a nth highest salary using subqueries. First let me show you the table structure which I have here. If you see this I have an employee table. So which are of having uh, six rows with of salaries 12,500, 12,000, 8,000, 9,000 and 4,000. If you see these are the list of salaries which I have in my table. Now let me write a subquery to identify the nth highest salary. See if I want a first uh, top first salary or uh, first highest salary, first highest salary then I can easily calculate how to identify a first highest salary. So let me write a query select first write uh, from EMP. Now let me write the columns. What are the columns I need? EMP name, comma, salary. Let me write a top one so that I'll get only top one. Yeah, top one salary order by salary DES, descending order. So if you see this, here I'll get the top first highest salary. So if you see in my table, let me run both the queries at a time. If you see this, I will be getting the top highest salary in my table. So if you see all the salaries here, 12,500 is the first salary here to get the first topmost salary. It is easily I can write with a single SQL query. I do not need to write a sub query to get the first highest salary. Now, so if I want second highest, let us assume it. I need second highest or any other highest, let us say third highest and so on. So for these kind of values, you may need to write a sub queries. First, let me explain one by one. First, I will write a inner query, then I will write a sub -query, main query to explain in a better way. Now, let me write first. So first, I will identify the second highest salary. Okay. Now, let me write it top two let me write first from from emp yeah what are all the columns i need top two emp name comma salary okay now i am going to uh, put a salary order by salary descending okay now with the help of this query i will be getting top two salaries so top first salary is 12500 top second salary is 12000 but here I need only second highest. Okay. Now let's go back to that. Let me write a one more query on the top of this query. So select. Okay. So let me put this way. From. Okay. Here let me put this way. I am keeping this as a sub query now. I am going to name it as a uh, sub. So that to say it is a sub query. Okay. Order by. Order by. So here I need to make it as a salary, order by salary, ascending. Okay. So I'll tell you why I am making it as ascending here. Now first let me put the columns. What are all the columns I need? Top one. So EMP name, comma, salary as second, yes, salary. So I'm just keeping it alias name. Now let me run this query. So if you see this, this is the query for second highest salary. Let me run this. See if you see this. So I have a Chris is a particular employee name and his salary is 12,000. Now this is the second highest salary. Now if, you, if I run all the three queries at a time, if you see this is the, now first one is the first, uh, first highest salary. Second one is the second highest salary. If you see the table, so 12,500 is the first highest salary. Second highest salary in the result is 12,000. So I will be getting. Now I let me go for a third highest salary. Okay. So let me write a similar kind of queries. So here this is for, let me change, remove here from here. Okay. So that, that is for second highest salary. Now this is the third highest salary. Okay. So let me write in the similar way. First, let me write a sub query here. Select top three. Let me write first from EMP 
another by salary DSC top three. I'm going to make now MP name comma salary. Now, if you see this, here I'll be getting top three salaries. Top three salaries. So John twelve thousand five hundred, Chris twelve thousand, and Gary nine thousand. If you see now. Here I'll be getting top three salaries, but I need a third highest salary. Now then, how to write this? So let me write a main query. Select, okay, from. So here I'll be keeping as a this as a sub query. Okay, so I'm giving a name as sub. Okay, order by salary. Descending order. Now what are all the other? Uh, Columns I need so top one EMP name comma salary. See, I am going to name it as a this as a third highest salary. Yeah. So if you see this, let me run this query. So here I will be getting third highest salary as nine thousand. So now let me make this as a first highest salary so that uh, you can easily get. Let me run all the queries in one time. Okay. So now let me run all these queries in one shot, uh, and also I'll order by this as a sal DSC. Okay. Now if I run all the queries, now I'll be getting. So this is a table. First table, I'll be getting. The salary is in a orderly manner. So 12,500 first salary, second highest salary is 12,000, third highest salary is 9,000. So let me cross verify did I get the same um, values or not. Now if you go to the John first highest salary is 12,500, this is correct, absolutely matching. Now let me go to the second highest salary is 12,000, here it is matching. Now let me go to the third highest salary as 9,000, exactly it is matching. So this is how we'll identify the highest salaries in a particular table. If you want nth highest salary, you simply you need to replace that with a nth number, maybe 10th, 15th or whatever the number you want, you need to put here, here and here. So wherever you want, so that, there you need to put that particular number in the, in the particular highest salary mark. Now, so in this scenario, here we will be writing a, here we will be writing a sub queries. So without writing a sub query, so I will tell you how to identify a highest salaries. So that is possible with the help of the CTE. That is possible with the help of the CTE. Now let me write a CTE here. So I will be writing the CTE with the help of the with keyword. Okay. Now with salaries, I am keeping salaries as a, uh, C, a, a CTE name. And what are all the columns you need? I am going to put that here. So here I will be keeping as a uh, rank, salary rank. So I, I'll explain you more. Salary underscore rank is the column I'm keeping here, comma, salary. Yes. So here I'll be writing my query. Okay. Select. From again, I'll be putting table name first so that I can do later. Okay. Select. So dense rank over of order by salary so here i'll be making as a name as salary underscore rank comma salary okay so now let me write it select star from salaries where salary rank equal to what is the rank you want you need to do it here so order by salary here i'll be putting as desc okay now so now let me run this so if you see if you keep one means that's the first highest salary this is the one value you should get it okay let me run this yeah 12500 now let me run all the queries in one shot okay see this is the first highest salary is let me put a ghost actually here where I need to add a go. So that's very go. Now let me run this. 
yeah if you see the first is salary is 12000 here i will be getting 12000 now let me go to the second is salary so if you want second is salary simply instead of the salary and score rank you need to put instead of one you need to put two so let's run for two now let's run this yes here you will be getting 12000 salary rank is 12000 so here 12000 and 12000 is matching yes now with the help of the cte you can easily write the you can easily identify the salary whatever the salary is salary you want you can easily identify it. now if you want a third is salary so let's go to the three let's run this now what is the third is salary 9000 9000 it is matching so this is how we'll write the cte to identify the highest salaries nth is salary means if you want a 10th is salary simply you are keeping 10 here so 10 means 10 like whatever the is salary you want you need to put one two three that number here itself so this is how we will write with the help of the CTE. Here if you see here, here I have used a dense rank. So dense rank is a function, SQL default function, which will help us to identify the, which will help us to give a consecutive number to this salaries based on this function. Here I am ordering based on the salary, descending order. For each and every salary, it is going to give you the particular rank. Now let me run the fourth. If you have a same figure, if you have a same figure, you will be getting same rank for those two values. Let me run this. For a particular fourth rank, I will be getting two salaries. Because of I have two salaries with the same figure. Now if I run for fifth, so here I will be getting one salary only. Because only one salary is defined for the fifth rank. Because if you see, if you go to the employee table, I have two salaries this defined for the with the same value that's the reason why so rank is 4 for 8000 now fifth rank again goes to the 4000 so there are some people so here they will use row number and all but that is wrong better you need to go for a dense rank only dense rank is the one which will give you the correct highest salaries whatever the number you want it will give you in this example we talked about how to identify a nth highest salary by using sub queries and by using CTEs. Here CTE is the one which really helps us to give you the result in a very faster manner. But the result, there is no change in the result, but performance point of view, CTE is the best one. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please keep subscribed to our videos and provide your valuable feedback in the comments section. Thank you.